Let's talk about the importance of choosing life. You know that every day in America, 5,600 teenagers attempt suicide? Now, let me give you a visual that maybe can connect with us. In an arena that seats 12,000 people, that arena would fill up every two and a half days with teenagers who in the previous 60 hours had bought the lie that their death was a better choice than their life. I recently shared that at a high school, that statistic, and when it was over, that the assembly was over, a young man walked down uh, this long aisle of this theater I was speaking, and he had a bunch of buddies with him. You know, I meet a lot of students who tell me, I'm a leader, and that's great, and I always have one quick response. Here's one fail-proof way to know if you truly are a leader. Look over your shoulder and see if anyone's following. Well, this young man was a leader. He came up to me, he was about six foot two, great looking kid. And he goes, hey, I just really wanted to tell you, thanks for coming to my school today. I said, man, I'm so glad I got to come. Thanks, thanks for you know coming up. What's your name, he told me. And then he just stopped, he said, hey guys, I'll meet you at lunch in a few minutes. This is about 11.15 in the morning. And he looked at me and said, can you and I have a conversation? And I said, yeah, I'd love to talk. But more importantly, I'd love to listen. You've heard me talk. Let's hear what you've got to say. He said, you told me that my life matters. I said, yeah. He said, do you believe that? I said, nope. I know that. I know it as well as I know my name. You were created on purpose, with purpose, and for purpose, and man, your life does matter. I said, tell me about yourself. He says, well, I, I'm, I'm a high school junior. I said, okay. I said, tell me his GPA was pretty high. I said, that, that's impressive. He said, I'm also the quarterback of the football team. I said, well, congratulations. He said, yeah, actually, we're, we're getting ready to play for the state championship this Friday night. He says, I'm pretty, pretty sure we're gonna win. I said, man, it sounds like you've, you've got it all together. You've got a bunch of buddies here that you're that you're hanging out with. They obviously follow your leadership. You've got a great GPA, great looking kid. You're probably very popular. You're the quarterback of the football team. You're ready to potentially win the state championship. I'm just glad I got to meet you. And he reached out and he grabbed my arm. He said, wait a minute, I need to tell you one more thing. I said, tell me. And suddenly his eyes filled with tears. And I remember I put my, my hand on his shoulder. I said, what's going on? He said, no one knows the internal pressure with which I live every single day, watch this, to perform. And the minute he said those words, to perform, my heart sunk because I knew where this was heading. I'd seen that look on tens of thousands of faces before. Maybe you know what it's like to feel like you just gotta perform to be accepted, to be good enough, to feel like you belong to something. He said, Dean, do you, do you really, really believe I can make it? I said, man, listen, your, your life's value is not based on your GPA. It's not based on you becoming the leader that you clearly are. It's not based on you being a quarterback of a football team. And it's sure not based on you winning or losing a state championship. Your life has value because your life matters because God created you. And you could just tell he almost was like, whew, thanks for saying that. And then what happened next? I wanted to just drop to my knees and just go, Lord, I, I, I don't even know how this stuff happens, really. He reached into his pocket, and he pulls this out of his pocket. This is a 12-gauge shotgun shell. And he said to me, at 3.15 today, 240 minutes from now, I was going to the 50-yard line not to practice football, but to use this to end my life. May I give it to you? I said, of course. He wiped away his tears, I wiped away my tears, because I was like, man, I just had no idea. He said, I know. He said, but I want you to know how important it is that I heard those words that I matter, spoken to me from somebody who doesn't know anything about me. And that's what I wanna say to you today, wherever you are as you watch this, this quick little video message. You may be the star quarterback. You may be the brightest student in your school. You may be the best musician. You may be the best. You may be the best of the best, or you may feel like you're the worst of the worst. Wherever you are on that continuum of time, on this life we know is journey, this life we know, this journey we have together, I want you to be mindful of a scripture in Job 33, 4 that says this, the spirit of God made you and the breath of the Almighty gave you life. That, my friend, is why you matter.